Are you like me? And sometimes get frustrated by the slow progression in multiple sclerosis research. I always had a deep frustration about it. <laughs> when I ever read scientific papers, I always find they only provide a little answer. They just never seem to give a definite answer. <sighs> hey, it's Dave. Artem asked me about my thoughts about taking the nutrient lecithin for MS. Lecithin is a fatty substance manufactured in the body and widely found in many animal and plant-based foods, including eggs, liver, peanuts, soybeans, and wheat germ. Many think the connection between lecithin and multiple sclerosis is weak, but I don't agree. It's not obvious, but follow me. Lecithin raises the level of choline in the body. Choline is a nutrient similar to B vitamins. It can be made by the liver, but it's also found in foods such as meats, fish, nuts, beans, vegetables, and even eggs. And choline is a precursor to acetylcholine. Before I get ahead of myself, let's pause for a moment and talk about cytokines. They are the major regulators of the immune system and play a major role in controlling the inflammation in their mass. To shift the cytokine balance from an inflammatory environment to an anti-inflammatory one, I take a supplement every night before I go to bed called CDP choline. It is naturally occurs in the brain and is the building block to acetylcholine. So here is where the story gets interesting about acetylcholine. It's a neurotransmitter and a member of the cholerogenic system of the nervous system. It is directly involved in the immune system pro and anti-inflammatory cytokine production and the release of modulating B-cell antibodies. It suppresses inflammation. Studies show that in experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, the main MS animal model, when acetylcholine inhibitors were used, it caused significant reduction of CNS in lymphocytes confirming acetylcholine controls inflammation. Combining that knowledge with a different study, which showed acetylcholine levels were significantly decreased in relapsing remaining MS patients. It shows that a deficiency in acetylcholine is horrible for multiple sclerosis. But acetylcholine doesn't just stop inflammation. As far back as 2015, scientists identified a way to enhance myelin using CDP choline. <laughs> I'm certain. To set myelin creation going, weightlifting is needed. But I also think that weightlifting and CVP choline work synergistically. After years of lifting weights alone, I did feel so many changes from weightlifting, but it wasn't until August 25th, 2019, when I bought my first bottle of acetylcholine. That's when my MS recovery started to really take major leaps. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video.
Until the next one.